Hi everyone, my name is Marie Chang, and today I will be drawing myself into the show Gravity Falls. I'm starting with this design that I did of myself in the art style of the show, and I chose to use this still to draw myself into because I liked that it included all the main characters and also had a central focal point for me to draw my character into. And I also like the idea of me being the weirdo that's in a hole with a possum on my arm. You probably saw in the image before, but when I was a little kid, I loved possums. And I didn't get a chance to include the possum in my original character design, so the possum is definitely getting its moment in the spotlight in this particular drawing. I started off super rough as always. Honestly, this drawing <laughs> looks so bad right now as it is, but I think it goes to show that you can really start with anything and to not be afraid of just drawing something ugly just to have something to work with. I also very quickly used that grid just to try to figure out where the best place for my character's face to be in frame. Once I finally got a really rough vision of what the shape would be and kind of how much space I would occupy, I started going through with another clean line, well not really clean, but a very rough line just kind of to tighten it up to get more of the actual details down. Right now I'm drawing my arms with a sharp angle in the bend of the elbow, but you'll notice later on that I will change this. And the reason why is because after looking at more reference from the show, all the characters in the show have more noodly arms when they make that motion, and so I wanted to make sure that I looked the same way in the show. Even though these arms aren't what I ended up with, I still want to point out that it's really helpful for me when I'm drawing to think of everything in shapes, especially with dimension. So these arms are kind of like cylinders and then you just kind of shape them together. Uh, I just erased one of my cylinder ends as I decided to clean up the drawing, but that'll always be there. And now that I'm finished with my rough line, I'm going to do the possum. I love possums. I think they're so interesting and <laughs> I know most people hate them, but especially as a kid, I thought they were just really, really friendly giant rats. That doesn't make them sound any more appealing, but I still really like them. Once you have all of your rough lines down, you can hide the layer underneath and kind of get a feel for what it's turning out to be. I always invert my drawings so that I can see it from that perspective and a lot of times I'll catch weird things that look funky to me. This is where you can see me uh, adjusting the arms and just realizing that something looked off but I wasn't really sure what yet. And whenever I feel this way, you know, I'll just take a break from drawing and maybe look up more reference, maybe I'll watch more episodes of the show, and eventually I figured out, oh, the arms look wrong. So this is me fixing the arms to actually fit the style of the show. Now I just need to go through and add some final details on this rough line art. I'm going to clean up the hands a little bit and try to make them look a little bit more defined. I'm going to add some paws and specific details to the possum and its little tail. And I'm going to do that thing where I invert the image so I can better see the areas I need to refine. I chose this mouth shape based off of existing reference from other characters in the show, but oh, I already erased part of it over there. But I think that you know you can take some liberty to retain what you think looks best. And right now I'm also going through and going to do the final clean line art. For this show's look, I'm going to use a line that has a little bit of variation in line weight, but it's also on the more consistent end, just because that's the way they do it in the show. And always feel free to erase a line and go back. You'll see here that a lot of times I'll try to do a line first, and I'll try to keep it in one big sweeping motion, but it takes me a lot of tries to get the right line that I'm happy with. So all I need to do now is just keep doing the final clean line art.
Now that I'm almost done with the line art on my design, I wanted to explain why the possum's design is no longer smiling. And I wanted to change this possum to have an angry kind of grumpy face just because I thought it was a nice contrast to my character's big, excited smile. It read a little bit funnier to me, and I also just think that it goes a little better with what's going on in this scene. Now that I'm finished with all the clean line art, I just need to do a flat color throughout my entire design. I do this on purpose, as I've discussed in the past, just as a quick and easy way to make sure that my characters fit the color and lighting of the scene. So right now, I took whatever the white from that scene was and just colored in, them in that color. And then I also did a little bit of a gradient shadow and then erased around the design just so that I have that for later on. I'm going to put that on as a multiply layer and it'll help my drawings look more like they're part of the show. That way, when I'm doing the color, which I'm doing now, I can just color pick the same exact colors that I used for my original design. Again, this isn't necessarily the way that the professionals would do it, but it is a quick and easy way to do it. If you're just drawing fun or you're learning for the first time, it's a nice, fast way to do it, and it gets you a pretty good result. Since this show is pretty grounded in terms of its coloring, you know, I'm just gonna make the possum your usual possum colors and <laughs> just try to get it looking like it could actually be a scene from the show. Once I have everything colored, I'm gonna go back and take that layer that I mentioned before, as you can see here, try different layer adjustments just to get it looking like it could be part of the scene. So now my character is a little more desaturated. It looks like it could be in the scene on a cloudy day, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I finally get to live out my childhood dream of being in a deep hole with a possum. Thanks again for watching, and let me know in the comments what other kinds of TV shows you'd like to see me draw myself into.